Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and I am reading through the Psalms. And today we're reading Psalm 91. Powerful, powerful particular scripture. Listen to what David says here. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So David is reminding us that there is shelter and also as rest when we stand in the Lord. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I am trusting. So he says the reason why I'm trusting is because he is my shelter, my fortress, and also my place of refuge. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. That means that God's protection is from anyone who tries to trap you and anyone who tries to, of course, bring pestilence upon you. Then he goes, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. He is using the analogy of a eagle or a, maybe a hen. And he says this also as well. He says, in his faithfulness, you will be, a, or his faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. It is your place of protection. He says, you will not fear the, day, the terror by night or the arrow that flies by the day. So whether it is day or night, you have God's protection. Also, nor the pestilence that stalks in the day, darkness or the plague that destroys at midday. So either way, any part of the day, God's protection is there. 10,000 may fall at your right side and 10,000 would on your right hand, but it will not come near you. So a thousand on one side, 10,000, but it's not going to come near. Why? Because you have the Lord's protection. You will observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you t make the Most High your dwelling place, even the Lord your place of refuge. So here he's saying, you will not see what the wicked will see, and you will observe how that they will uh, be destroyed by their own devices. And no harm will befall you, nor disaster will come near your dwelling. So no disaster, no terrible thing is going to happen to you. I love this. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So no matter where you find yourself, you have angelic protection. They will lift you up in their hands and so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. And of course, we know the enemy tried to use this against Jesus in the um, temptation in the wilderness, but Jesus didn't bite. You will be able to tread upon the lion and upon the cobra. You'll be able to trample the great lion and the serpent. He says, it doesn't matter what it is what species comes against you, what attack comes against you, God is going to be with you. And it goes on to say, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him and I'll protect him for he will acknowledge my name. So one of the reasons why is because the Lord loves you. Secondly, because the Lord, of course, knows you by name. And he goes on to say, he will, I will, he will call upon me and I will answer him. And I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. You know what? The Lord promises to give us divine protection because he loves us, because he's made us a habitation or we've been made a habitation by him. And also as well, the Lord, of course, cares about our very situation. Listen to this. With long life, I will satisfy him and show my salvation. So you want long life and you want the full benefits of salvation? Simply acknowledge the Lord today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. We've been praying through the Psalms and that was Psalm 91.